2023 Computex coverage is brought to you by Asus, Cooler Master, Aerocool, Thermaltake, and Kingston. Hey guys, Corey here, and we are at the Asus booth, Computex 2023, checking out what they have on display, in particular, their ProArt series of products. Let's get to it. So this is Asus's Z790 ProArt line of motherboards. We have plenty of creator features in here, plenty of NVMe storage for the user. Also, it is Gen 13 and 12 compatible, so you can use your older CPUs if you have not currently upgraded. Of course, we have DDR5 support, and we have plenty of connectivity options at the back, including USB-C, plenty of USB. We also have 10 gigabit LAN and 2.5 gigabit LAN as well. And of course, we also have our line for AM5 sockets, so AMD users are not missing out here. You can see, just like the Intel platform, there is a nice, clean, sleek black design, no RGB involved, with the subtle gold accents of the ProArt design. Now for the rear I.O., it is fairly similar to the Intel platform. We have a one extra USB-C, Thunderbolt, of course, and we still do have the 10 gigabit LAN and 2.5 gigabit LAN as well. So for creators on a bit more of a budget, there is also the B760 option. Again, the rear I.O., it does have USB-C, only one port though. So there, it is lacking a little less features, but that's what you get for a more budget-oriented motherboard. Of course, still has that clean, sleek design with the black and of course the gold accents and plenty of NVMe storage for users who want to take advantage of those extra fast speeds. So this is the ProArt LC420 AIO cooler that Asus is releasing in collaboration with a case over there. But we have some premium industrial fans involved. And of course, sticking with the ProArt theme, we've got the black and the gold accents. One thing that I'm not really keen on is that they've added some RGB lighting onto this. I really think they should have kept it simple and clean, just like the whole rest of the ProArt series. One thing that I think they could have done better with this is the integrated LED lighting, I think maybe could have been blue for when the liquid is cooler. And if your system's starting to heat up, maybe turn like orange and then to red. Fortunately, it's just an LED at the moment. Now the fans are rated for 2000 RPM and the CPU block is made of full copper, but the radiator is made out of aluminum. Now AIOs typically have a more aggressive liquid which is able to be used so that you can actually use different types of metals with each other. So this is not gonna be an issue. Asus has also released their ProArts line of graphics cards, which I think is super sleek and clean with the subtle gold accents and of course the all black design, super clean, but you'll notice that it's also a lot smaller than the regular gaming GPUs that they have in their line of graphics cards. Also, it is a 2.5 slot design. It's got three display and one HDMI. So you'll be able to connect multiple monitors to this if you are a creator. Now, just because this is geared towards creators doesn't mean you can't use it for gaming. It still has access to DLS SS 3.0 and full ray tracing support. So with our ProArt line of products, of course, they need to include a monitor for the creators. So we have a QHD IPS panel, 23.8 inches, 1440p. As I said, IPS, that means it's very true to color, very accurate colors as well, especially for those video editors and creators. Now, like the rest of the ProArt series, the color scheme is usually that black with gold accents. So I really feel like the monitor stand could have gone with that color scheme as well. That's the only thing that I'm kind of not liking with this, but apart from that, the specs are fantastic. And I wouldn't mind trying this out with some video editing myself. So now that we've gone over all of the ProArt series of products, you can see that we have this concept case right here that Asus wants to release. Inside, we have all of our ProArt series for a full PC, and you guys can see how it all looks together. Now, obviously, the cable management isn't the best in here. I'm sure we could do a better job, but let's forgive that for now. You may have noticed with this case, it has all of this heat sink design, which follows through from the graphics card, from the CPU cooler, and the motherboard. So I think this is looking really nice, but it is concept at the moment, and they did say, that they're planning on making a few changes by making it taller because they said it's going to create more airflow. Also, there's already a 420 millimeter radiator at the front here, but making it taller may also make enough room to add the 420 millimeter radiator, not just to the front, but to the top as well at the same time. That's going to be insane. For me personally, I don't think I would use the 420 millimeter radiator. I'd love to actually put a full custom loop inside of here and see if we can create like a nice, clean creator setup. Down the bottom, it also looks like we can add a 360 millimeter radiator. So that is plenty of cooling potential for this case, especially when they make it bigger as well. I mean, it's pretty big as it is. So I don't know why it needs to be bigger, but 
that's Asus's choice, and I can't wait to see the final design and have a play around with it myself. And that's a wrap up for our coverage of the Asus booth and the ProArt series. I'd have to say my favorite was the Asus ProArt RTX 4070 Ti graphics card. I think the design is really sleek. Let us know what your favorite product was in the comments below, and we'll see you all in the next one.